Cheers! <laughs> to make a decision like that, this little bird is no less capable than her brother. <laughs> All is well that ends well. Right. But have you forgotten someone, my gray-haired friend? I put a bomb on this ship. You have ten minutes to find it. You better hurry. When did this get shoved into my hands? There's still so many bombs. Now's not the time for plot twists. I can't handle this alone. Time to create a group and inform everyone. All set. Let's start following the plan. You finally arrived, oh great gray-haired little one. I'm the constable around these parts, and right now, I'm posing as a bomb. What? This is called foreshadowing. All right, now that you've found me, it's my turn to complete my mission. Next, I'll count down to five and then explode. Five, four, one! Is it really that important? I'm not even a real boss. Was it surprising, shocking, horrifying? No? Really? Fine. That's too bad then. At least I made some progress. Gotta keep working at it.
A reward with no risk? Ha! We meet again. I am Panacone's famed detective. Got yourself into a pickle? I'm more than happy to help. But unfortunately, I'm preoccupied with a couple of unsolved cases. So, you'll have to wait your turn. I need your help, miss. You've had quite a few run-ins with Dr. Boom. And with the recent bomb situation, you're bound to find evidence that proves Dr. Boom is the killer. The first case is the Soulblad Factory Arson case. We found a hammer, a dog, and half a liter of unidentified fluid at the scene of the crime. Our forensics results show there's a red herring. The second case is the Blue Hour Auction Robbery. A gang of masked thugs broke in, stole a fragment of the Astral Express, and left behind a large hammer, a doll, and a half-dead red herring at the scene. Those are all the details. The way I see it, there must be a link between these two cases that would be the key to exposing Dr. Boone. I trust in your deduction. Which piece of evidence do you think is the deciding one? This is hardly enough for a seat at the table.
much time left. I hope I make it. was they're doing since you're here i'll just keep it short just over half an hour ago i received a message from an unknown sender and rushed here as soon as i could 27 minutes 52 seconds 27 minutes 51 seconds the sweet dream has lost the protection of the order if it were to blow up here the consequences would be unfathomable i've scrutinized it for a long time but the bomb's design isn't apart from its creator i feel Difficult time. You mean the watch make the memo keeper may? I don't know what grudges they have. Hmm. Actually, there might be another way. Do you still remember? The script said that I will experience death three times in the land of dreams. I think this moment heralds the third time. You may already know that I have no way of evoking dreams. I employ a Stellaron Hunter's special method in order to enter dreams instead. This allows me to perform feats that typical dream chasers can't. As long as I can bear the pain of the Memoria pressure, I'll be able to dive into the primal memory zone beyond the dream and extend a lifeline to the Radiant Feldspar. I will take this bomb into the depths of the dreamscape, as deep as possible where there are no living souls around. That way, at least no one will get hurt. Don't worry. I believe 
believe that this Firefly armor will be enough to take me to where I need to go before the countdown ends. And maybe even make it back safely. At present, this is our best and most logical course of action. After all, a long story deserves a happy ending. I have some words to share with you. Though they were spoken to me by Miss Acheron. She said that the so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. At the moment, there are so many things that seem impossible. But are they really never going to happen? Maybe it's just that the moment to disprove these impossibilities hasn't arrived yet. Whether it be a literal ending, suffering akin to death, or a harrowing deathscape. Before the appointed destination arrives, they are all the same. Yet I can still make Mary had choices. I also firmly believe that... that when that moment arrives for us to make a choice, the answer to our end will already be within our hearts. It is not destiny that shapes us, but we who shape destiny. The Astral Express and the Stellaron Hunters are like light and shadow. We walk on different paths, intertwined, moving forward and growing together. Maybe the end is predestined, but it is not today. Since things are going too well, let's speed up the countdown. Human life is short, just like fireflies to a flame. So if you have an answer in your heart, always remember, don't leave with any regrets. We have this right. about other people's safety. Why don't you go take a closer look? <laughs> Or a bitter reality. It was an answer we longed for, day and night. So, why do people choose to slumber? I think it's as you said. Because in the end, we will wake up from our dreams. <laughs>